now a page from our Sunday morning almanac, August 9th, 1859, 156 years ago today, the day the patent for a prototype escalator called Revolving Stairs was awarded to a man named Nathan Ames. No picture of Ames seems to exist, nor apparently was a single working model of his impractical triangle design ever built. was left to others to take the next steps. In 1895, an inventor named Charles Seeberger was the first to use the term escalator, combining the Latin word scala, for steps, with elevatus, for rise. In 1896, a different inventor, Jesse Reno, installed one of his designs in New York's Coney Island, where it was built as a kind of thrill ride. By the early 1900s, the Otis Elevator Company had acquired most of the escalator patents. And the moving staircase was quickly becoming a familiar sight in department stores and in other public places. Familiar enough, in fact, to win a comic role in Charlie Chaplin's 1916 film, The Floor Walker. Not that escalator design has stood still since then, Though a few of the earliest escalators with wooden steps still survive, most escalators have long since adopted steps of metal. And early this century, Mitsubishi Electric turned heads by installing a spiral escalator at Caesars Palace in Las Vegas. The escalator even made political history this past June, when Donald Trump rode one to enter the presidential race. With the escalator and its cousin, the moving sidewalk, ubiquitous at airports and train stations worldwide, a much quoted ancient Chinese proverb is more true today than ever. A journey of a thousand miles can begin with just a single step. <laughs>